Ready. Play. Now, for the women. Is it easier? Is it more difficult? Will we see the same result as we had in Indian Wells with Vabakana beating Sabalenka in the final? Will we see something a bit more like in Australia? Or will we see Iga retain her crown and return to the winner's circle? Talking of which, there she is, of course, at the top of the draw, the world number one, by some distance still, over world number two, Sabalenka. We'll obviously be coming to Sabalenka last in terms of this list because that'll be opposite ends of the draw. But the draw is a very interesting one, in my opinion. So, uh, let's go for Claire Liu uh, overcoming the Czech uh, Siniakova. And we've got Trevisan there, Ostapenko. Uh, Ostapenko, I think, is on a collision course with um, Iga. So that will be interesting should that materialise. We're back in there as well. Can you see her repeating the trick as I just mentioned? Get in the comments section below. Let me know your thoughts on her, both in Miami, but also, by the way, what do you think about her on the clay? Just a real unknown quantity. I suspect that she'll find it a bit more difficult on that surface compared to some of the other ones, or particularly the hard and also, of course, the grass courts at Wimbledon, where she may well go into that tournament as the favorite, but that's way down the road. Let's get back to the present and the present is Miami. Uh, very much in the present is Flukovatova against Wang. Let's go for Wang to win that one, although I think I should be saying Wong. Anyway, uh, let's go for Alicia Parks over Mertens. Maybe I've gone a bit too big and a bit too soon on Parks. Uh, maybe taken a bit too much stock from that uh, uh, WTA 250 title she earned earlier this year because she's not done a huge amount since. Okay, what do we think about Pagula's chances here? Do we give her a slightly bigger chance? I do. I think these courts will suit her a bit better than uh, Indian Wells. We saw how well she did in Sydney with the super fast courts that they had there at the beginning of the year. And then we saw in Australia where the courts were just not quite as fast uh, there. And um, we saw the slight difference for her in terms of her performances. Lots of buys and stuff like that. Let's go for Bernardo Pella to overcome Rodina. Uh, let's go for Cam uh, Camilla Giorgi uh, beating Kai Kanepi. Although that's quite an interesting first round, in my opinion. Do you have the same? Don't know, because I don't even know who you are. Okay, uh, let's go for uh, Begu over Iala. Uh, Zheng and Popetova, of course. Let's go for Marta Kostiuk to overcome Kocciaretto. Let me know Italians, my pronunciation there. But fortunately, I'm not having her go through to the next round, so I haven't got to repeat her name. So, Kostic goes through. Uh, let's go for Rebecca Marino over Putin Saver and Goff and Zachary. Zachary, can we see her get back on the horse, so to speak, after a pretty tough 12 months, I would suggest. Okay, maybe the tie of the first round. Bianca Andreescu, Emma Raducanu. For me, actually... I'm going to say this with some conviction. Raducanu is winning that one. Maybe even in straight sets. Uh, Sophia Kennan, I really hope that she can have a good run soon. I, I think she's had some really rough draws this year. I remember Azarenka in particular in Australia. And of course, possibly Rebakano. I mean, maybe her toughest match in Indian Wells was against Kennan uh, in the second round, I think it was. Uh, there, uh, Kennan, two super, super, super tight sets uh, against Rebakano. And so, fingers crossed, now Kennan can have a nice little run. And she's pretty handy on the clay. Don't forget she got to that French Open final as well to back up her Australian Open win in 2020. But that seems like a, such a long time ago. Anyway, remember, buys. Do not ever predict a buy to go through, please. Word of warning. Uh, let's go for Taylor Townsend over Bondar. Uh, Leila Fernandez, by the way, if that happens and she plays Belinda Bendic, Bencic in the second round, now, that'll be an exciting match to look forward to. Uh, but let's see. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, let's go for Breng. No, let's go for Anisimova, sorry, over Brengel. And let's go for Noskova over Bronzetti. Uh, remember the bye rule. Uh, we will go for Kruger over Andreva. Uh, Ashlyn Kruger, no relation to Freddy. Um, yep, easy ones, obviously, here to predict. Jabur Garcia. Do you see them having a good Miami tournament? Let me know in the comment section below. And by the way, 
don't forget to hit that like button as well. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We need subscribers so I can keep bringing you amazing content and amazing predictions, Nostradamus-esque, like these ones. Okay, uh, anyway, hit that like button. So, just there to overcome Gomez there. Um, oh, Plidokli, these are pretty easy. Let's go for Von Drusova as well over Tatiana Maria, the uh, Wimbledon semi finalist, of course, last year. And Von Drusova as well has uh, got a pretty decent slam record, at least, with the French Open uh, from a few years back. Uh, Kudamatova, yeah, Krajcikova. Krajcikova. Uh, Sasnovic over Galfi, let's go for Bogdan over the wildcard Montgomery and let's quickly race through these so we can get over to the second round where things really start to hot up. Uh, Sloane Stevens, no, Shelby Rogers to beat Sloane Stevens, maybe you disagree. If so, let me know in the comment section below, but still like this video, okay? Uh, Siontek to overcome Liu, uh, Trevisan to beat Kovinic. Ostapenko to beat Paolini, had a Maya to beat Korpach, um, Rebekana to beat Kalinskaya, uh, Badosa to overcome Maya Sharif. Feels like a long time ago since we had Badosa as a real contender going into these tournaments, and I don't see her being a contender for the crown in Miami, but maybe you think otherwise. Let's go for Wong over Martic. Uh, let's go for Kazakina over Parks, but yeah. No, let's let's go for Parks to upset Kazakina. Um, maybe I'm being a bit foolish, but there we go. I'm on the Parks train. Okay. Um, Pagula over Fruvitova. Uh, Collins to beat her countrywoman Davis. Uh, Lynette, of course, we remember how well she did in Australia, which is Largely the reason why she is seeded 20 for this tournament after that semi-final appearance in Melbourne. Let's go for Azarenka and a fellow, another semi-finalist in Melbourne, of course, uh, to overcome Georgie. And let's go for Zheng over Begu. Let's go for Kostyuk over Bodapova. Coco Goff over Marino. Oh, Zachary Raducanu. Oh, yay, yay. Raducanu. Over Zachary. Am I being a bit biased towards my uh, fellow countrywoman? Is it fellow countrywoman when it's two different sexes? I don't know. Fellow country person. Same nationality, you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, that's a tricky one. I think it'll go three sets, but I'm going Manu Kanu right now. I think Zachary was hanging on for dear life all the way through to the semi finals in Indian Wells, and maybe the conditions in Miami will suit her a little bit less. So, so. Let's go Raducanu. Uh, let's go for Kennan over Kalinina. And let's go for Alexandrova over Taylor Townsend. Ah, Belinda Bencic over Leila, but that's a really tough one. You know, with the right draw, either of those could easily be in the semi-finals or perhaps even further in this tournament. But I'm going Bencic. Um, by the way, maybe I'm being swayed by Jack, who I also know is big on Bencic at the moment, and she is a bit under the radar, uh, perhaps as her seeding of nine would indicate. Uh, let's go for Kvitova over Noskova. Let's go for Vekic over Anisimova. No, let's go for Anisimova over Vekic. Sorry, Donna. Uh, let's go for uh, Zhang over Kruger. Let's go for Jabur, uh, Garcia. Let's go for Linju. Uh, Pliskova, oh this is a tricky one, let's go Kudamatova, but it is tricky, uh, that one, I think that's a pretty close affair, maybe it's others uh, that are watching this thing, Von Drusova, let's go for Krajcikova over Sasnovich, Madison Keys over Bogdan, uh, Puskova somehow continuing, and Savalenka to beat Shelby Rogers, hmm, that's a tricky one though, for the world number two, okay. On we go. Sviontek, Trevisan, Sviontek, Trevisan, Sviontek, Sviontek, Sviontek. Easy peasy. Uh, let's go for Hadad Meyer over Ostapenko, I'm afraid. So there will be no eager Ostapenko match as far as I'm concerned, in my predictions at least, and that is what we are here for. But I want to know your predictions. 
Who is winning the women's tournament? Who is winning also the men's tournament? Let me know in the comments section below. We're back in it to overcome Paola Badosa. Let's go for Wong over Parks. Let's go for Jessica Bagula over Daniel Collins. But that could be an exciting match should it take place. Let's go for Azarenka over Lynette. Azarenka, of course, um, having a pretty disappointing uh, Indian Wells that was pretty short-lived. But perhaps she can look forward to a slightly longer tournament in Miami. Let's go for Zheng over Samsonova. Let's go for Coco Goff over Kostyuk. Let's go for... Ah, two former Grand Slam champions here. Let's go for Raducanu over Sophie, Sophia Kenyon, but that really could go either way, and maybe I am going for my uh, fellow country person at this juncture. Uh, incorrectly, quite possibly. Let's see. Let's go for Bencic over Alexandrova. Let's go for Kvitova over Anisamova. Let's go for Anjabur over Zhang, but that'll be close, and maybe uh, Jabur's not really showing a lot of form at the moment on the hard courts. Of course, she is still returning to the tour from a few injury issues. Uh, Garcia over Zhu, I do think these conditions might well suit the Frenchwoman. Uh, let's go for Pliskova over Kudumatova. Uh, let's go for Krajcikova over Madison Keys. This, this is an interesting one. Look how close their seedings are, but really they're on different levels right now completely. Uh, let's go for Savalenko over Buskova. Um, fingers crossed that Buskova's health can hold on, especially as I think she's pretty useful on the clay, but I think Savalenko will have too much for the Czech. Iga will have too much for the Brazilian had at Maya. Rebakina's form will continue, so that is interesting. Of course, another match between Rebakina and Sviante on the horizon. They've already had two matches this year, two straight sex victories for Rebakina and to the expense of just four games in their previous meeting in the semi-finals at Indian Wells. Uh, let's go for Pagulo over Azarenka. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go for Coco Goff over Zheng. Bencic ending Raducanu's run. Uh, let's go for maybe Raducanu's runs, though, in Indian Wells and also in Miami. May well see her return to the upper echelons of women's tennis. And, uh, of course, she's not defending too many points on the clay either. Let's go for Kvitova over Anjabur. Let's go for Garcia over Pliskova. Ooh, Savalenka Krajcikova. Again. Again. Uh, they meet this time in the round of 16, just like they did in Indian Wells. I'm going Savalenka. She won in three sets in Indian Wells, and I think she will, may well repeat the trick again, but that's an unfortunate draw for both players, really, because I think in different parts of the draw, that may well have been a final. Anyway, Savalenka to beat the Czech. Ego Rybakina. I'm going to have to go for Rybakina. I mean, she's dropped... Two, four, eight, twelve games over four sets this year in their two encounters. And I think these conditions even more than in Indian Wells will suit uh, Rebecca. So, yeah, I'm afraid I'm going to have to go with that. Uh, Jessica Bagula to beat Coco Goff. So she'll make the semis um, quite possibly, though, because of a slightly kinder draw. I mean, Pagula avoiding Kalechikova probably helps in the round of 16. Also avoiding Iga, Elena. And Arena as well, meaning in the quarterfinals, perhaps Coco Goff is a kind draw for her. Let's have Bencic overcoming Kvitova, and we'll have Sabalenka beating Garcia. I'm afraid I'm going to have to go for a repeat of the Indian Wells final. We're back in a Sabalenka. Am I being boring? On the men's side, I had Carlos against Medvedev, and I went for Carlos to beat Medvedev again, just like he did in Indian Wells. And now I've got Rybakina against Sabalenka again. But this time, Sabalenka, I think, will beat Rybakina in the final. She just lost recently two extremely closely fought sets in Indian Wells. But on this occasion, I think Sabalenka will return to form. I say return to form because she'd won the previous four encounters before Indian Wells. And I expect her to get her fifth victory against Rybakina, making it a five and one head to head. And I see Sabalenka lifting the Miami crown. Let me know if you disagree. Let me know if you think somebody else is going to win. Let me know if you agree as well. You can let me know in the comments be below. Make sure you hit that like button and please subscribe to the channel. We need subscribers. We're very close to 1,500 subscribers, which will be an incredible milestone. 
after just a few months of doing this. But we need to keep going, we need to push on, we need to get to 2,000 as soon as possible. So if you're watching this, and about 70% of you will be watching this, and you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Anyway, you can also become a member as well. Just hit the join button and you can get some exclusive footage as well as other perks. My voice is about to go, so I had better go too. Ciao. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on all things tennis.